I would rather say Eve is more worthy of being worshipped according to the Christian mindset than Christ. Why? Jesus Christ, he is deficient. He is not absolute. Jesus, going back to Jesus, does he have a human father? Jesus, like Adam, does not have a human father. And the Quran explains the similarity. It says, The very similitude, the parable, the example of Christ is like that of Adam. Adam was created from dust and God said to Adam, be and he was. So when, when God wanted to create Christ in the womb of Mary, be and he was. So what God has shown Does his creative... I will explain to you. Okay. What God has shown his creative power and his majesty, so people will have no excuses not to understand the God being all powerful. How many ways can we bring human beings? You can bring a human being or create a human being or make a human being from no father and no mother. Without any father, any male and a female. He did that with Adam. No father, no mother. He can bring a human being from a woman alone. That is Christ. He can bring from a male alone. That is Eve. And he can bring from both male and female. That's us. That's the all four computation. And God has demonstrated his power that he can create human beings in every form of computation. That doesn't make Adam son of God, like the Bible says. The Bible says he's a son of God. And no Christian worships him either. Eve, I would rather say Eve is more worthy of being worshipped, according to the Christian mindset, than Christ. Why? Women are the ones who are receptacle in their wombs to produce babies. They have the wombs. Men don't have wombs, do we? We don't. Okay? We don't. Yeah, Women do. One, one second, one second, please. It's interesting. So the wombs are where babies can be developed and so on and so forth. Okay? So think about it. Creating a human from the ribs of a man or the wombs of a woman, which is more miraculous? Both. No. Why was it? You, you sound like a cat. Which is, which is more miraculous? More miraculous is producing, creating a human being from the ribs. So it is more miraculous to make human beings from the ribs of a man or a male rather than the womb of a woman. Logic, rationality, reason all comes into play and tells you, yes, ribs is not designed to make babies, women's are. So if Christians were to worship between Eve and Christ, they should worship Eve. Now, but because we know you don't worship Eve, that means it's not about the miraculous birth that makes one worthy of being called God or whatever, it's something else. So now let's come back to Christ himself. Do you agree with me? The only being who is worthy of worship is the one who is self-sufficient. Is all creator God. Self-sufficient. Yeah. Yeah. By worship you mean worship like God? Because I don't worship anyone else other than God. Are you I, saying people can worship God and someone else? If I was to approach a king of a country, I would kneel down That's and That's worship. What is it? No. What That's that? a sign of respect. Respect. It's ascribing worth. That's what worship No, no, no. Means. It's not worship. It, but the word worship is Ask any Muslim, worth. Do you, would you ever intend to bow down to a king in a sign of worship? No. no. Never. No. That's in, Never. In, in fact, if, my friend, in yeah. fact, in fact, if a king instituted something like this, you ha when you come to my court, you bow down, Muslims will go like this, will never bow their head. Ask any Muslim here, never. Even if it's to their detriment. Well, what you were saying about being self-sufficient. Yeah. You know, the person who's worthy of worship is the one who's God-sufficient. And that was no. Jesus, because he, he followed the Father in everything. He never did his own will. He only did the Father's will. And that's the reason why he's worthy of worship. Uh, I'll tell you why. This is totally, totally unacceptable, in our opinion. The one who is worthy of worship has to be one who is perfect, free from all weaknesses and deficiencies. That means a being, a, uh, uh, that's what you think, right? That means a being who is absolute, independent and self-sufficient. Anyone else who is not God will have the weaknesses and deficiencies. Jesus Christ, he is deficient. 
He is not absolute. I'll tell you. Okay. Let's settle this matter once and for all. Can Jesus exist without the Father being in existence? No. Is he dependent on the Father for his existence? Then dependency is a weakness. No, it's not. It's actually a sign of servitude and love. Servitude is weakness. Oh, well, in your opinion. Don't, don't no, it's a, it's dependence is a weakness. Okay. okay. When I need... Do you not, do you not okay. serve your Ummah? Do you serve each I don't, other? Okay. Yes. I'm not worthy of worship because I serve the Ummah. No. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me explain to you something. Let me explain to you something. Let me explain something. I need air oxygen and water otherwise I will die I am deficient I am not self-sufficient I am dependent such a being am I worthy of worship only being think about it the only being that can be worthy of worship is one who is self-sufficient Jesus was do, dependent not self-sufficient any need any need does the father does the father need anyone or anything it has to do with obedience okay let's 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 let's, let's deal with it does the father does the father need anything or anyone does the father need anyone or anything wait wait wait, wait, wait slowly I will take your question is the father dependent on anyone or anything? Nothing. No. Right. So, so he has no weaknesses and limitations and deficiencies. That will make him perfect. But anyone who has weakness and limitations will not make him perfect. But imagine, imagine. If you were 100% obedient to Allah, would you be rewarded? But I will never be worthy of worship i will be rewarded if god wants me to reward following his law but 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 i will never be worthy of worship because the moment you humble to someone else what it means is you are subservient to someone else what it means is you know someone is greater than you what it means is you know someone has more authority more power than you that means you are the weaker one so how can the weaker one be worthy of worship it doesn't mean weak. It, just, it, it means, means weak. Have, it doesn't mean weak. It means, it means you have a different rank. Nope. It means you are worthy of honor at the rank that nope. God has given you. You can never equal God and His creation. Creation. Jesus was a creation of God, or not? Yeah. Right. Creation can never be worthy of worship. God has given Jesus honor because He was obedient unto death. That's why He's worthy of worship. Because God has honored him. Then perhaps you need to think, rethink about what we mean by worship. Yeah. Are you going to worship a potato? <laughs> oh, <No>. your. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Potatoes are good for salads, fish and chips. I can name, start naming the English bread. Without potato, oh, come on, there is no English. Well, it's actually for us. <laughs> yeah, now we've, we've come and taken over.